Hi, I'm Joey with this week's Science and Tech News. On July 20th, 1969, American astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans ever to land on the moon when the Eagle Lunar Module of Apollo 11 mission touched down. This year marks the 45th anniversary of the moon landing, and to celebrate, NASA broadcasted the footage of the historic landing. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Plus, NASA is honoring Armstrong, who passed away in 2012, by renaming the Eagle's launch site at Cape Canaveral, Florida. The Manned Spacecraft Operation Building will now be named the Neil Armstrong Operations and Checkout Building, and it will be used to prepare for future space missions like sending astronauts to an asteroid and Mars. As pollution releases greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, the sun's heat is getting trapped on Earth, causing global warming. This climate change is triggering a chain reaction of wacky weather and temperatures that are hitting extreme highs and lows, breaking all kinds of historic records in the process. See, global warming has weakened the jet stream, which is a layer of fast-flowing wind around the Earth that separates cold air in the north from the warm air in the south. So, chilly air was released and we saw some harsh storms, as well as a polar vortex of intense wintry frost throughout the USA. As for the heat, 2013 placed in the top six for the hottest year on record since scientists began tracking temperatures in 1880. And that's just the tip of the record-breaking iceberg. And speaking of icebergs, they're melting so rapidly that sea levels are rising across the globe. 13-year-old Lauren Arrington recently gave scientists something to think about when her sixth grade science project proved that lionfish could survive in water that is way less salty than the ocean. To prove this, she put six lionfish in six different tanks and little by little, she reduced the water's salinity or saltiness. Although lionfish were known to survive in water with salt levels of 20 parts per thousand, it was believed that any environment less salty would be unlivable. By the eighth day of Lauren's experiment, the fish were living in water that only had six parts per thousand. Lauren's discovery can help scientists prepare for possible lionfish invasions into environments they once assumed were too deadly for the fish. Move over Tesla Motors because there's a new gasless vehicle on the road. Based in Italy, Energica is introducing a line of fully electric superbikes. Energica has created the Ego, a high-end electric bike that can go from 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. The standard model of the Ego costs $40,000 with 45 limited edition upgraded versions starting at $67,000. That may seem a little pricey, but when you think about how good those, these bikes are for the environment, I think we can all agree that the Ego is not a bad way to go. Plus, those insane speeds will certainly be a boost to the Ego. High definition technology brings crisp, ultra sharp visuals into the comfort and convenience of your living room or the palm of your hand. Now companies like LG are taking HD screens to the next level with their paper thin TV panels that can be rolled into tubes like a newspaper. LG unveiled their first flexible TV earlier this year at the Consumer Electronics Show, and they recently announced that the company will create a 60-inch Ultra HD flexible TV by 2017. I know this might sound like a useless invention, but can you imagine being able to roll up your TV and take it with you everywhere? Well, companies like LG and Samsung plan to make that a reality.